Let's just get started. <laughs> no point in waiting. So, uh, there's this little video here that I think we should watch. We don't have to. There's no reason to. But I think it would be nice. Because I don't know what it is. If it's just like a compilation of clips from the last game. Um, yeah, so this game did become available at midnight. It is now... 1.40 a.m. I assumed Steam would have a pre-install option, like it does for most games that you pre-order, but this one did not. So like an idiot, I didn't fucking check at midnight, and I had to manually install it. So I didn't get started until about half an hour ago on the installation. But it's ready now. I have the deluxe edition, so I got a bunch of bonus stuff. And um, I'm real excited to get into it, so uh, let's do it. Let's watch this first. Okay. Where to start? My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. She wasn't thinking right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. The people who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Well, don't call the family fucked up. It's not their fault. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddy showed up and saved the both of us. Well, extracted the both of you. You did most of the saving, I think. Is that enough? I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. It's all over now. All right. Resident Evil Village. I'm so excited. I did, in preparation, and just in case this game released that bit, I did take a nap earlier so that I can stream it for at least a few hours. So I, I should be okay. I do need to get water, which I don't have on me right now but maybe when my throat starts to dry out and then I'll go get some. <laughs> so, I got a bunch of concept art, the tragedy of Ethan Winters, um, the Baker Incident Report, and whatever this is. And then I got like a weapon charm or something that was like the mis the, the bobbleheads that you collect in the in, in 7, and um, I can change the save game room music to Go Tell Aunt Rhody. Um, and I can also go right onto the hard, hardest difficulty right away. Normally you'd have to unlock this, but this came with the deluxe edition. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I usually like my first playthrough of a game to be not like super easy, but like standard, you know? And then I kind of go up from there because I like replay value in games. And if I jump to the hardest difficulty and end up beating it, then I'm just going to be struggling and frustrated all the way through, and then when I beat it, I'd have no reason to play it again. Whereas if I start with standard, I can get good at the game and then work my way up. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, here it is. Village of Shadows. Long ago, Looks like a, a fairy tale. went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. 
The bushes empty. Wow, it's very like Yet determined Tim to find the berries. The rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on over vine and under branch and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Ugh. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. I have not heard then, this story. <laughs> a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Yo, this is fucking sick. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. You know, Mia looks real different. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. I has Say baby. Something. Nothing. I'll put her down. Okay, what I want to know is... Did they go on vacation? Because Ethan has got himself a pretty big tan. Kids cartoons. Look, baby. Look at the cartoon. Look at it. I'm going to switch to controller. I just find these games easier to play even in the first person. Mom got you another new book? That one seems a little more practical, though. Kids gotta learn their ABCs. Man, Mia put on some pounds. <laughs> oh, Mia. What a miracle. Was that last week? Three years ago. I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. Wait, three years ago? How old is this baby? Looks like it was fucking born a week ago. <laughs> Three years?
Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. I disagree. Sorry. Sorry. Unless they mean because of that. Hungry? That no? one sucks. I don't know. Maybe later then. Don't get too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. As close as I want. Take the baby! Hey, Take it! What are you doing, mister? Mia makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. Rose's food for February. The sixth rice cereal banana puree. On the seventh sweet potato puree. Boiled spinach and cream. Ugh. Ethan, don't give her any sugar or honey and no mushrooms. <laughs> I'm like, I'm thinking in my head, like, why not mushrooms? And she's like, oh, because a fungal growth from the last game has pretty much made them um, hate all fungus. Oh, oh, okay. Let's flip that shit. February twelfth or February second, twenty twenty one, Rose's half birthday. Her birthday will be here before we know it. They grow up fast. Let's just enjoy it while we can. So I guess uh, Chris would be like fucking fifty now, wouldn't he? Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Trust the baby like a grandma. Mia's medication. She's been on a strict regimen since the incident. Oh, that must fucking suck. Your mama and I love this song so much. map screen yet? Nope. Almost there, honey. No. If that's the way I'm supposed to go, then no. I want to explore everything. Man, they really love books here. Oh my god! Why do I even keep this around? I should get rid of it someday. Okay, that's obviously not the collectible in the game. That's just a reference to the last one. Open door with baby's head. Got to do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Curtain closes on the Dolby gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the Dolby toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. Is that their cover up? They concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the murd mud rock under the area. Jack Baker, 57, and his family, who were exposed to the gas, perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before that area is habitable again. It's interesting interesting theory. What about the other 20 people that disappeared in that area? I've forgotten about this already. Are they saying Ted? Eventually, everyone just stops giving a shit. A historical look into the architecture of Eastern European castles and keeps by George Trevor. Funny that they should have they, that they would come here. Is it too dark? It looks too dark on the feed. Or 
wardrobe. Those clothes for tomorrow. Oh, aren't those cute? February 6, 2021. Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly, but I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face that? Face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Wait, I want to see the wallpaper. Oh, but it's probably him holding the baby, so they covered his face with a window. I bet you that's what that is. Name, Rosemary Winters. Date of birth, February 8th? No, August 2nd, 2020. So then what was that vacation picture from three years ago with the fucking baby around his shoulders? They fucked up. That was probably supposed to be three months ago. Unless he said months and I heard it wrong, but I swear to God he said years. Height, 62.3 centimeters, 24.53 inches. Weight, 6.57 kilograms or 14.48 pounds. Screenings for hearing, vision, touch, reflex test. All results show no issues. Patient is in good health. Other notes. Results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by BSAA. Applefeld. Memorial Hospital. Rose is fine. Are they still waiting on the result of that? <gasps> Monkey. <laughs> well, hi there, little Rose. <laughs> She's like, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Gun survivalist. A heavy firearms. Really out to get you. Heavy firearms manual for field combat situations by. Joseph Kendo. Oh, Kendo, huh. It's an old book. He long dead. <laughs> Is that Japanese text? I can't really see it. I think it is. Or some weird made up scribbles, but like there's some characters that look like Japanese characters. Interesting. They didn't even bother to translate this. Probably figures it's impossible to read. Baby. Where's the baby? Bed. Oh, in the monkey outfit. Who's? All right. I think that's everything we need to see is put the baby to bed. Mother waiting. She's scary when she's angry. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> there you go, sweetheart. She gets pretty fucked up worry. when she's angry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Like, I'm sorry, it's kind of weird though, because like he was like super pale white in the last one. Like you can see the veins in his hand, how white he was. And then just darkened the shit out of his skin, which is like not a, like a big deal or anything. Like he could have been a darker skinned guy before but it's just weird that they just changed it they're like hey we've had enough white guys let's be, let's just make them darker is she okay sleeping like uh well, like a baby mm, that smells good what's that oh hands off mister ow it's chorba de lagum it's a local recipe wow you've gone full you fucking straight up bird him. local wine too but if you're gonna keep sulking all evening maybe you shouldn't have any you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, 
Everything is gonna Seriously, be... Seriously? Think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just... I don't understand why you are so... <sighs> Mia! Get down! Oh, Mia. geez. I was about to say she took that shot like a champ. Not those ones. Oh, dear God! I mean, I would have dove across the table and tackled her to the ground. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Go move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Fuck, Chris. Hey, Doc. No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter. You just Mia. Mia. What are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. I wish I could have some ambient lighting in this room. I don't really have much to do it. It's either pitch black or bright as day. <laughs> Jesus. I need to get some uh, stick up lights, some uh, LCD strip lights for this room. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Of course, Chris Redfield. And Rose. Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not welcome out of the phone call. Fuck. What the hell happened to you? It's useless. Mission objectives, eliminate target, recover body, secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winterses to Site C for further investigation, at least two transport officers to accompany them.
Can you raise the flashlight? Like, if I just look straight on, I can't see anything. I have to, like, tilt up. Jesus. Hey, calm down, calm down, calm down. Something got that crow. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, Jesus. If I just see like glowing eyes in the woods, I'll probably shit. Shout there. Well, the fucking sound design already gets an A. I just hope you all can hear it. What the fuck? Wait, that's the same beer from the first game, or the last game, the Dolvi, brewed in Dolvi, Louisiana. Why is that doing? What's that doing here? <laughs> Interesting picture. Hello. safe. We're fine. It's fine. We're totally fine. Nothing's gonna jump out at us. It's just a creaky old house. Very windy outside. Oh, that's beautiful. Feck off, ghosts. Oh, guys, some Resident Evil 4 shit. Is that Louise? Louise, are you in there? Ugh, fuck. What happens if I turn around now? Duh. Duh. Okay, let's go back up.
did all this. Oh, this the sun's starting to come up. Whew. And I can sprint now. Whee! Where the hell am I? Shit's starting to open up. Multiple paths going here. Maybe maybe they're out. An easy to pick lock. Except I can't pick it. It's another picture of that uh Goddess or whatever, people worship here. What the? F oh, I do have a map. So there was the picklock there. Wait, was there another way to get in that house? says it's red. Unless it all just counts as one building. Yeah, maybe there's nothing in here specifically. Hello? Do I want to open this? How do you poop in this? Place with blood on the floor, chains on the walls. Sounds kinky. But these are all red. These, there's got to be items that I've not seen. Maybe I can't pick anything up yet because it's still like kind of intro, intro times. Santa? This looks like a... Like a village from World War II that hasn't been rebuilt yet. I don't know why this is kind of giving me those vibes. See, this room's blue! Search completed, currently searching. Yeah, what the fuck? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Am I hearing like World War II propaganda in the background? W what happened? Some crazy shit, bro.
Locked due to missing homeowner. Got a knife! That's your, that's your main knife in the game, just like this fucking little kitchen knife. Eh. Did they just run out of the house? Taste it. See how old it is. Okay, one person having this picture is weird. Why do multiple people have it? Already broke my immersion. I'm just kidding. No, Holy fuck! Friendly. Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road. And... What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Why would you? Fucking after the, what happened at the fucking Baker estate, I'd be, I'd be packing every day. Take it! Take it! Can you drop your gun down here? I'd rather have that. No. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Dead body. I'm sick of seeing those. Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? Huh. You're not used to it yet? There you go. Your goop juice, you'll grow back. No. Yeah. Come on. Let's do this. Mono e mono. Oh god. Okay, this is not working. The knife sucks. Or does it? Jesus. Where the fuck am I now? Oh. Anyone in there? Coopers.
So I need an herb. Oh, there's one. Do I get my fingers back? <laughs> Can I like go and cut open that werewolf's stomach and then find him? Yeah, family photo on me. Dumb. You got shove it up your ass. Why is it so fucking brown? I could use it as toilet paper. That's what I was looking for. Nice key items take up different slots. Okay, so it's, it's a lot like um, RE4's inventory. Okay, never mind. up here. Climb. My bullets. Get your own. Oh, Jeebus. Oh, Jeebus. What do I do? Oh, Jeebus. Why'd I barricade myself in here? This is a really dumb idea. Radio. Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my... to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? Jesus, they're just watching. That's so fucked up. Jump down on me. Oh, they all seem to be like backing away now. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Keep running. Damn it. Get out of here. Oh, God, keep running. Let's go. Ow. Oh, shit. Ow. Get out of my way. I want this. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Fuck it. Oh god. Where am I going? Where am I going? Survive the attack. Is this just timed? Is this a timed thing? Oh god. So I, gotta, I should try going up there. Where's that where I just came from? I think that's just where I came from. Uh. Wait, are people shooting arrows at them or me? Oh fuck right off. Excuse me? Oh fuck, is this a dead end? Fuck. Yeah. Oh god, there's nowhere to go. Fuck. Get back! Me arrows. How long do I gotta last for? This is fucked. Holy fuck. Holy fuck! What the fuck was that? Oh my god. What the fuck? They got El Gigantes in this shit? Hello. Up, 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 up. Oh, God. Tell me this is scripted. 
Oh, fucking thank you. Oh, no, never mind. I am so screwed. You have bad breath. That was lucky. That was so much like Resident Evil 4's opening. Jeez. Two shoddy shells and zero heals. That's where we're at now. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? <laughs> you shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? I didn't play any of the demos, but I know that one of them starts Castle here. Castle Bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Rose is here? <laughs> She's not a witch. I don't know what is. Yo, is she the witch from that like fairy tale at the beginning? That has to have some meaning, right? Some significance, especially since uh, Mia said that it was a local tale. Is this her, is this her witch hut? Is this where she does her brewing? Oh, great lichens, the fabled monster wolves of old. May they come to eat our flesh. May they come to tear us apart. Why do you want that? Seems like a good idea. a lock pick that needs a key there's something in there something in there something in there another lock pick something in there the well has something to do with something there's a lock there can't fucking do anything is there an inscription on this to read no who that Not from the other side. Wait, what? Another well. Can't get in there. Let's 
castle's that way. Is this a dead end? What are you? We offer these goats of warding to protect the village and its people. Any who break them all feel Mother Miranda's wrath. I smell collectible. Hell yeah. I don't like that. Kill it. Destroying all of the collectibles is a bad thing. Lore wise. What's that? What's in there? Is there something in there? I want it. Two things for that. Guess this leads to the castle. I'm sorry, is that some sort of fucked up fetus? Is that what happens when a lichen gives birth? Another well. Another door with that insignia on it. It's her, everybody. Maiden's Crest. Uh, should disaster fall upon our village, seek out the crests. One is in the care of the church, the other is in Louise's house. Okay, so this is obviously the church. Louise's house, down the road f to the right from the church. Typewriter. So he's the one they call Heisenberg, I think. Don't know who any of these people are, although that creepy looking one looks like the Tim Burton novel little girl that must be the witch lady or someone else because it's got a different face it's obviously all of importance I like the fucking engraving on the shotgun look at that look at the, the etching Alright, so we're facing the church this way, it'd be down the road on the road. This this way, right? Like down here. Ooh, why do I need to barricade that? <coughs> Fuck your flower. Maybe I should? Oh. Well, mine. Interesting. A whole clip. That's very generous. I'll also craft some more. I love that fucking... Um, ammo and health items are different crafting materials from each other so I can actually just craft them as I get them okay I guess there's only one way out so let's move this back I also like that you can break shit without having to take your knife out. Uh, 
Haha, <laughs> loser. Ah! Crystal Skull. So Lisa's house would be... Is it this one? Well? It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. Oh. Shit, we're sitting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Quiet. There must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. Don't move until I get those gates open. <coughs> oh shit, he's gonna die. Clean poop hole. Oh, cleaner than the rest, at least. It's probably the only one I would use being here. Damn! Is that the other one that I need? It is. Fuck, what did that say? One of the cresses in there could probably open it by removing a screw. Okay. Just go back to the lady and the old man. She's like, hey, hey, you guys got a screwdriver? Need to get those two inside. All right, all right, all right. <coughs> Sorry about that, I was trying to look for a screwdriver. He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here. Don't be sorry, I totally understand. Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on out here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? <laughs> we have to get inside. Leave it to me. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up! It's me, Elena! Well, that Stop didn't work. Shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend! Stay back. <laughs> Father, for God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. But that's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Julian, go make yourself useful and check the ground. Lulian. I said go. 
Yeah, Lulian. Short name Lull. If Elena trusts you, and so do I. I opened a gate for her and everything. It's pretty easy to earn her trust, honestly. Wait here. I'll check on the others. Mind if I uh, go through your shit while I'm waiting? I can save. Louisa, they broke in again and got more of the livestock. I don't think we'll make it through winters at the... <laughs> make it through winter at this rate. Ernest is still missing too. We can't find him anywhere. Has Mother Miranda abandoned us? Probably. I said winters like his name. These are pretty pictures. Wow. Got a real photographer in this village. Taking pictures of only this village. Give me a sec, I'm not done perusing. Alright, I'm gonna save here. <clears throat> Seems like a good place. That was really quick, holy fuck. Come inside, the others are waiting. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed! Right, Anton! He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Don't know about that one, bud. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left? All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless invalid? A stupid, wailing bitch! And you! You drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing? And expect to be all safe? There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow? Tomorrow we're all be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana! That's enough! This house has protected my family for generations. You forgot the loudmouth idiot and drunk. drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa. And where is your husband? Did they? No. N no, he he is out there. Somewhere. I'm sure he's fine. He he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's that's it. He he went to fetch help. Let us pray for him, for all of us. Good to Mother Miranda. Come. She's been helping a lot so Come. far. I'm just gonna just join in for the sake of it. Great ones, hear our voice together as one in reverence. They don't even let the other guy join in. Fuck him. Within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life, and in death, we give you glory, Mother Miranda. Now, the tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. That prayer, I've heard it before. There was an old woman near the graveyard. Give me the hag. <laughs> I'm bitch as crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her, as it shall protect us. <laughs> All right. What are you doing, Leonardo? What's wrong? Are you okay? <laughs> Holy fuck! No, no, no. 
shit. Oh. Let him go. Lena? Ooh. I said no. She got that double barrel. Can I have that? Oh my god. I'm so sorry, father. Hey. Hey. That wasn't your father anymore. You did the right thing. Elena, Elena, no! There's nothing you can do! Papa! This entire place is collapsing! No, the double barrel. You couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone! No, we're getting out of here. Together. <laughs> no, I will never leave you alone. I will pester and harass you for the rest of your life. I gotta get out of here. I don't even have a face in a mirror. Am I already a vampire? Just get through this wall. Soup's on. Take the screwdriver out of the key ring if you need it. Hell yeah. <coughs> Got a car key. Damn, the fire's moving fast. <sighs> Start with the screwdriver, just jam it in there. What are you thinking? Step back. We can bust out with this. Seems like a really bad idea. That's solid brick. Yeah, I didn't think so there, Ethan. Now the truck's on fire. Oh, Jesus. Um. Ethan. Ethan, are you alright? I'm, I'm fine. Let me back up again. The fire. There isn't any time. <laughs> Where to go, but up. Grab on. Hurry. Let's move. Don't worry. And try not to breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> You're kind. I hope your family is safe. I do, too. Once we get out of here, maybe you'll get to meet them. Ooh. Just because he said that, I don't think she's going to meet anyone. It'll hold. There. That's our way out. Oh, thank God. But what then? The village is still full of monsters. So she said, thank God. So them. obviously, Mother hey, Miranda is just like a prophet, hey, I guess. Like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No. That place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Father? 
Elena, no. Yeah, but everyone in that castle's hot. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going. Father! Wait, it's not safe! Stay there! Come on! Give me your hand! Let's go. Let's go, lady. Come on. Ethan, go! You s just jump off Stay your dad's your back. Dad. Where'd her body go? That's just the roof of the truck. You'd see her. And him, for that matter. They just disappeared. This is just too much. Does everyone keep dying on me? I was gonna make her new Mia. I just don't get it. We'll learn together, Ethan. That's the point of Resident Evil games. You're not supposed to get it in the beginning. This place need, is going mad. Need to find the lab at the end, the secret underground lab. Why the fuck is this happening again? Oh, shit! Dude, you have a huge hole in that part of your hand. Why are you punching walls with it? Ow. Yeah. Hey, Rai. I, um... The game got a midnight release, but I thought it would auto-download and install, but it didn't. And I didn't realize that until, like, core after one. So I, I just decided to install it right away when I noticed. Because I had to do it manually. And then... I just started about an hour ago. Who's there? Stop! Oh, that's Mother Miranda? Well, she doesn't seem like she takes care of this village. Who, who was... What was that? Yeah, Cyberpunk also, um... The thing about Cyberpunk when it came out, I tried to install it, the, the, like, the first day. And I got the 10 gig patch right away. But... It wouldn't finish the last like 10 megabytes of installation because everyone who bought the game on Steam tried to install it right away and it crashed their store. And the Steam store was down for like three hours and nobody could install it. Thank God that didn't happen with this game. They probably learned their lesson after that and fucking added more memory to their servers or whatever it takes. Yeah, you miss like all of the intro bit, and then I just finished right now what the village demo was. I just did the demo part. And then from here on out, it's going to be all new. Once I go through here. So this is where the demo ends. Huh? 